Budget airlines are booming. About a quarter of passengers are taking flights on them. But does slashing costs mean sacrificing training, maintenance, and safety? It doesn't mean that a low-cost carrier is low cost on safety. Safety is the biggest advertisement for an airline. Low budget airlines do cut costs by charging for food, luggage, and extra leg room. None of that impacts safety. But they also save money by paying pilots less. Low cost carriers are low cost because they don't pay as much to the crews. And it doesn't attract a higher level of experienced pilot. It doesn't mean they're an unsafe pilot. It means that they may have less experience. Taking off Kuala Lumpur on my Experts say pilots who work for low-cost airlines may actually fly more days than their counterparts at larger carriers, which increases the likelihood of fatigue. But the planes themselves aren't tired, even when they're old. They are constantly maintained. They have a progressive maintenance program. So whether a low-cost carrier gets one that's newer or older, it doesn't necessarily make a difference on, on safety. And although today's German wings crash involved a 24-year-old plane, most of the low-cost carriers actually have newer fleets. These low-budget carriers may be able to take advantage and be more flexible to take on newer aircraft that have a better efficiency rating or that can use less fuel or have a, a, less of a lesser of a maintenance expense than would a major carrier. That makes for bigger profits. And although low-cost international airlines have made headlines for crashes, well-known cheaper brands here in the U.S. actually have a good safety track record. Southwest, for instance, has never had a major crash. But many flyers aren't thinking about track records when booking a flight. They're looking for those cheaper fares. Christina Aleshi, CNN Money, New York.